So why should you fine tune? Generally, this is ideally a last resort. You have tried out doing prompt engineering. You have included retrieval in your techniques and you still need to improve performance. Often that means one of a few things. You need to improve your answer structure and format. For example, you want the model to take a certain approach by maybe recapping on some of the information, processing it, and uh, maybe reasoning over it, and then giving a final structured answer. Sometimes that means you have uh, tool calling. Uh, so you want to have a structured response that is going to call an assistive tool. Uh, so these are classic cases where fine tuning can make sense because it gets the model to very consistently respond in a certain format. Now, there are two others you might consider as well. One is if you want to improve accuracy beyond just using a retrieval method. Back in one of my earlier videos, I show how you can combine retrieval with fine tuning and get the best possible approach. So you can improve performance beyond just a retrieval approach only. Uh, and last of all, this is more modern, uh, late 2024, you can try to fine tune for a specific uh, for specific reasoning within a domain. That's like uh, GRPO, group relative policy optimization and other related techniques. I have a series of videos from earlier in 2025 uh, that cover that and I'll let you try them out there. For today though, we're gonna focus uh, not so much on reasoning, although I think I will make another reasoning video soon. We're gonna focus on general fine tuning to enhance uh, knowledge, but uh, a lot of the same principles apply if you wanted to fine tune on structure, although I'll point you for uh, more details on fine tuning for uh, JSON responses or function calling to this video uh, right here.